Howdy everyone, welcome back to another episode of Played With Toys. This is Jaime, taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming. Now this is the special option act wall set. And forgive me for the late review, I've actually got a few late reviews. Uh, I've been really sick lately, uh, just the last couple weeks and stuff. You know, flu season going around and all that crap. So, not very fun, but uh, you know, I think I'm over it. Like it seemed I was getting over it, and then all of a sudden it came back with a vengeance. You know, it's just kind of one of those bugs that just really bit me pretty hard. So I have all this stuff just like piled up and all these videos that I wanted to make and everything. And unfortunately, I haven't gotten uh, to them, including my update video for the uh, the next uh, the, the raffle. So by the way, uh, just to go ahead and say something on that note, the three figures that I believe I'm in the raffle are all going to be Star Wars figures. Uh, I may do a fourth one. It's, I'm sorry, not raffle, but uh, giveaway. No raffle. No money involved. Nothing on your part. Um, but they will be SH Figure Arts Ray, Praetorian Guard from Black Series, uh, the Amazon exclusive, and uh, Jaina Solo, and possibly an RX-78-1 if I can get my hands on another one. So, but I'm thinking about doing the RX-78-1, uh, I think kind of like the prototype, like full armor looking uh, one that just came out this month. So, got to see if I can get my hands on that. But for sure, I've got those other three, they're ready to go. So we'll be doing that around Christmas time. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to this. So you can see this is a pretty large box. Comes with a lot of stuff. I've already uh, had put the wall together. Uh, there's actually an additional reason that this didn't get put together is because it broke. Uh, the figure broke midway through the review at the torso. It just snapped. It's got a funky torso, which I'll show you. Um, so I had already like put everything together. I'm not putting it back in the box and everything, unfortunately. So, but there's the front of the box, the top of the box, and back of the box, which shows you different like eye options and his like cell phone and just kind of you know his articulation he can get and things like that backpack options stuff like that so uh, all sorts of different poses and the four separate little uh, one by one and then two by one pieces here uh, and you've got so uh, support arms and different options here for the way you want to display either you can have a straight up display or a kind of corner display with well you could put this I guess anywhere even on there it wouldn't matter but uh, you know you you have your little spidey emblem there they call it the uh, <laughs> pet decal or something like that it just sounds funny anyway uh, so let's get on with the figure review itself so here I've got Spidey without any, I haven't changed any of his hands or anything like that or uh, his eyes or any of that kind of stuff. I just kind of plugged him back in where I had the other Spider-Man. Um, but there's, you know, the wall set and that's kind of how you can take advantage of that. And it's a pretty nifty little wall set. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time going over it um, because really it's simple. It's just as simple as Lego pieces. You've got these pieces that come off on each of these sections here. You can, uh, let's attach this. And you've essentially got pieces you can kind of push off and this comes off and you can pull it off. So that's how that is achieved. Now, as mentioned earlier, I think you get four of these kind of one by one sections and then two of the double uh, wide sections. In addition to that, you've got this little thing right here, which is for, whoops. Sorry guys, I've got the uh, thing on a completely different uh, mounting system. The the uh, audio but yeah well that doesn't want to seem to be working but anyway that little peg goes in there and this little peg goes over this and just plugs right into there so you can have that hanging on the wall so in behind here seems you've got uh, a support like a kind of curved support piece and then this is the piece for going on top right here on the roof let's see if I can get this in there properly there we go kind of just slides in but it's not wanting to cooperate for the moment or maybe I maybe it is cooperating ha I'm just not cooperating with it so and this piece fell off it's normally not so finagly um, like I said this is just a support piece you kind of just like shove there and whatever kind of keep it there but you know once you obviously leave it static it's it's fine so this is the you know configuration I have it in, and the really cool thing about this this is like the craziest arm. It's very strong, stable. You know I can feel the plastic in here. It's, it feels thicker than most of the Stage Act Five, 
uh, stages, and of course you've got or, uh, ha ha uh, extending bars, I guess you could call them. Um, you can screw them and all that good stuff. So you've got that double system down there, and there, and then there, and right there. And this guy right here is a little bit thicker than your uh, Stage Act 5, Stage Act 4 plug, and it also will support this one right here if you want to go that route. Or you can plug it straight into his back. I did not bring my X-Acto blade with me. I don't know if I'll be able to get this off. But basically, there's a very small little peg hole back there that you can use even along with this thing right here to kind of give him an extension. Just plug it in and uh, plug that into there. So, you know, if you wanted to have it without the handle. But I always like the handle. I'm not going to lose that stupid little piece. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, enough about the wall. That's the wall, all that good stuff, and kind of how we interact with the wall. But, uh, and actually, there is one more piece here. This piece is used to support the, uh, if you're going to take this and make it just a straight wall section, then this would be used back there behind to support. Like that. So, anyway, those are your options there. Alright, so given that this is a figure art, obviously it's a pretty small figure. Uh, just in terms of you know overall physicality, he's not like small and obviously buff or anything. He's small and lith, um, but you know he's got some small musculature. I think that he looks what I would expect uh, a teenage kid, in a, you know, Spider-Man costume to look. His neck to me is a little bit long, but it's okay whenever you're posing him. I mean, we all know that figure arts aren't meant to be left in vanilla stances or anything like that, so. Uh, really it's not that bad but it does leave kind of like a little gapage back there so there is that now that it's not too bad looking I think I think yeah it looks really good I'm definitely enjoying the colors it's like a gray black and then black there and you've got these black kind of wrist bracer things for I guess web shooters and use utility belt and really lots of nice texturing all the way throughout the entire, uh, yeah, the entire figure pretty much. Even, you even got a little bit of, you know, texturing down there at the bottom and as well there. So overall, that looks pretty good. I really like these lines that are going through the pant legs. To me, I think that looks really nice. It almost not quite like Tron, but you know, very uh, computer esque, very, you know, linear. So I guess you could say. And then that just kind of contrasts with the up. Uh, you know, uh, all this going on up here, which is more, uh, I guess you could say, somewhat more curved and uh, circular uh, in nature and with its pattern. So, um, overall, I think it's a nice, good looking figure. It's not too, I don't see any huge gap in issues or anything like that, other than, you know, kind of the back of the head there. So, it looks good. Um, but I do have an issue with the figure, but we'll deal with that here in just a second when we go over uh, articulation and stuff. So, All right, so for hands, he's got these two hands that will hold this web, this, you know, kind of uh, slinging down. So that is the hands for supporting that. And then you have some thwip hands. You have two different pairs of thwip hands, ones with just those two fingers extending. And of course, these are on small pegs, straight pegs. Oh, I believe all of them are, I think. I'll note any that are not. And this one right here is also a, you know, twip hand, but with three, thing, three fingers sticking out. So that's pretty cool. Straight peg as well. And then let's see here. These are straight peg too. So cool. Cell phone holding hands here. Let's see. And the cell phone. So it's kind of got like a shimmery texture on one, or shimmery uh, finish on one side, and then the other side is just flat gray. So, but the hands look pretty cool. I, you know, they are all well designed. They've they've all got really good uh, little texturing as well on there. Um, and let's see, you've got three other pairs of hands. You've got it's kind of just gesturing hands, or maybe wall crawling, uh, flying through the air hands if you'd like. Straight peg. And not last, but you've got your wall crawling, definite, you know, Spider-Man pose, uh, jumping hands, things like that. 
and then of course you've got the fist hands here so overall pretty nice selection of hands you get a lot of hands there now this head does pop off I haven't popped this one off I've popped the other one off and you get a tool this tool right here simply just plugs into back here somewhere it's kind of a pain um, but essentially you're just going to use this tool to kind of push there's a little black knob and you can use it to switch out his eyes now you've got other eyes uh, other eye options you've got a kind of closed eye I think this should fit yeah squinting eye rather so and you get two of those little squinting eyes They're pretty cool I like them and you've got another more open pair of eyes let me see if I can differentiate these pieces honestly they're well here's the other squinty eye real fast so squinty mix squinty spider-man anyway you get the idea now let's see here my apologies I'll be right back all right less squinted eyes those are the other eyes so I'll show them in pictures and stuff at the end but anyway eyes dun 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 and lastly you've got two web pieces for shooting at people so yeah kind of clear more clear than uh, white webbing so that's interesting it's uh it's cool i don't know i think that's pretty much the gamut of accessories oh no let's not forget his backpack and that plugs right in so uh, one of these straps comes yeah just one of these comes loose and you're going to want to fit that over Oh, actually you want to fit the non loose strap first like that and then you would essentially do that and of course it's got that plug there so you're gonna to have to unplug this plug to just plug that in it's very very easy um, but I'll show that off a little bit later too so all right let's put his head back on let's go for some articulation all right so I'm just gonna leave his squinty eye on like he's got something in there but um, the head articulation is pretty good so he can look up down you know up all that good stuff side to side you know it's no slouch there so pretty pretty good just his neck's a little bit long I think it should have been a bit shorter but maybe they chose that for reasons you know so he can have poses like that or you know I guess be you can almost look like he's flying up maybe with a torso bent a little bit so not too bad all right and then looking at his shoulders here so the shoulders are where I have my issue with his character and where I think they kind of messed up you get everything almost except for an additional swivel which I think they should have given you so you could pull off some more spotty like poses mm -hmm. I think it's definitely necessary my apologies my phone just went off um, but you get the butterfly joint action You've got a swivel that allow you to get the full ray, and it plugs in down there, so it's very interesting. Um, double jointed, you know, uh, elbows there, and a nice array of movement due to the small peg system there. So not too shabby, but unfortunately, it's a little limiting factor when you can't naturally get his arms up past that so you I mean you can when you do this you can put his arms whichever way you want so I mean I don't know it just depends on which way you show him it's just gonna be a bit goofy it'd be nice to just be able to kind of you know have like that and then you know have a uh, uh, an additional swivel there but maybe they couldn't pull it off because he's so tiny I have no clue but I'm, my phone's going off I'm gonna just move it out of the way <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster all right anyway so further moving on to the torso um, now this is where I broke it last time so I'm gonna be really careful I believe there's just a ball joint up there but there's some sort of funky joint in here it's like a ball joint sitting on top of this weird kind of uh, curved you know uh, kind of straight like little bar that's maybe a little bit thicker but uh, you know and it goes into the ball joint from the legs from this system right here so that's unfortunately what broke on mine last time so I'm gonna be really careful this time because if I break it I'm not buying another one I've already bought the replacement not doing it again so overall you know pretty good range of motion I would say you know even just treated uh, kind of gently here so as you can see I'm doing I'm not really putting too much stress on them I really don't want to do that but you're gonna get a decent amount from the top 
but also a pretty good amount from the bottom as well so side to side all that good stuff and on the legs they're pretty good you got some split action there you've got this twisting uh, you see they should have just done this to the freaking shoulder why not <laughs> anyway uh, so he can kick out pretty far as well uh, kicking backward is not too bad so pretty good um, not too shabby and so it's a very kind of like little complex system in there uh, you got this layer on top of this layer which is under this layer so these two layers are on top of this layer here and then with the crotch piece in between that is attached to the uh, the piece up here so this right here is a pretty cool leg system there for the knees and gets all the way back almost you've got a pretty good amount of wiggle room here with this crazy uh, toe pivot system uh, forward and backward are great side is okay side to side is alright nothing to write home about um, and then of course you have some toe pivot action so I mean but you can still get him in a pretty good variety of spider poses if needed so uh, which I'll show off here in pictures so Overall, I think it's a pretty cool figure. I don't uh, really care that it doesn't come with the Tom Holland head because it's Spider-Man and my other Spider-Man does not have an alternate head because I just really don't care. Um, I don't know. Maybe some people would like the you know Tom Holland head and maybe they'll give it to us sometime in the future, maybe in another one, the next movie. Uh, for some reason they didn't in this one. I'm not saying I wouldn't take it. I'm just saying it's not why I bought the figure, I guess, or, you know, any part of the reason I bought the figure, so, um, but overall, it's a pretty decently poseable figure, uh, I think it is kind of small, in just in my experience, a bit on the fragile side, so just do be careful, um, it's fun, uh, I do like the wall set as well, I, I think it's a pretty cool addition, and that's the other reason, of course, that, you know, my reviews take a little bit longer sometimes, just because I get the special editions, like, right now, I'm getting the Mark, uh, 5, just mailed to me now but that's because I waited for the US version with the Hall of Armor so you know I'm not gonna buy a Hall of Armor separately <laughs> it's just not well I do but I'm not gonna do it for each and every single one so uh, anyway but so I, I think this is a pretty good deal I mean for like 90 bucks you get you know spider-man a bunch of effects a couple different walls options in addition to I think this is gonna be able to plug into the homecoming spider-man wall option set so that's pretty cool and you can just have kind of like a mix you can have your nice little spider-man display with walls and stuff and maybe put up a couple other figures you know some guys getting beat up or whatever and it'll really ramp up your display or whatever diorama that you want to do whatever so I think this is a it's a, it's a nice set um, despite the break I had so just be very careful with it so Anyway guys, this review has gone on far too long. Y'all take care. It's much appreciated that you guys are watching and uh, please feel free to ask any questions. I've got plenty more reviews on the way, like I said, so just uh, stay tuned. I'm getting to them now that I'm not sick. So, peace. Take it easy guys. Happy collecting.